Hey team, Gavin here, and today's Monday motivation is about making a decision, okay? Now they, say, they always say that um, the best way to teach something is to tell a story. So I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story about myself, all right? Some of you know, some of you don't, depending on where you're at when you follow my very small channel, which is cool. So I was always a fat child. I was fat from a you know, kid, you know, under 10. Um, I was a fat teenager. I lost, I shot up a little bit, lost a bit of weight in my sort of 15, 16, 17, and put all the weight back on. Struggled with my weight all the way up until 30, okay? So with that came bullying. It came ridicule. It came a huge lack in self-confidence, okay? Now, it was to the point where, um, you know, when, when you're a child and you get bullied for a certain thing, um, it really knocks your confidence because even, you know, you're too scared to step outside of the box a little bit because of ridicule, okay? So on top of that, I used to mumble a little bit, okay? Get all, all those things coming on. So that was the perfect mix of the bully, all right? Being a bully, being bullied, sorry. So what happened was when I decided to move to New Zealand, okay, I kind of decided like I needed a change from whatever stuff was, was happening, whatever else, you know, I just needed a new opportunity. Um, I'd gone to, um, gone to Chicago to... Um, to our friend's wedding, and I just realized it was more to life than what I was currently doing. So I decided, you know, move to New Zealand because I'd been there before, I could join the police over there, which was cool, and that's what we did. So with that, okay, came another decision. I was sick and tired of being overweight, okay? Um, it was summer over here, it was, you know, I didn't want to get my t-shirt off, it was just awful. I felt terrible, I still didn't have a huge amount of confidence in myself. So I decided, decided to make a change, okay? Now, once that decision came, I started my fitness journey on a Thursday. I remember it. It was that clear for me, okay? I guess it'd be uh, similar to somebody giving up smoking where they tattoo the date on their arm or giving up alcohol if you're an alcoholic. But I decided at that point never to be fat again. I just decided, okay? It, it probably took me 30 years to come to that decision. But ultimately, once I made that decision, I was able to, to do it and I could to do the things that were once hard. So I'd always gone to the gym, always tried a little bit, gave up all the excuses, all the reasons out there, time, tired, energy, injuries, no accountability, it's their fault, it's this fault, the weather, all of it, been through it all, okay? But when you make a decision to make a change, and that's the key thing, you make a decision, a conscious decision to change, can't even say it. What happens is you remove the possibility of not achieving that goal, right? So when I decided not to change, I went from not really exercising to training very, very hard. I was training seven days a week. Um, I wasn't able to cook, and I, all of a sudden I went to, um, you know, started to learn how to cook. I used to research macros and proteins and calories and carbs, and it was really hard and confusing. But over time, the more you kind of like subject yourself to that, so he was listening to podcasts, he was listening to YouTube, he was reading books, and all those things together, you know, it's, it's lots of positive influence towards my goal. So then you, you, know, you try things, you do this and you do that and do that, and, and this didn't work, paleo didn't work, keto didn't work for me, Weight Watcher didn't work for me. Um, but the goal was still there, the goal was still never to be fat. I had decided never to be fat, therefore the goal was there. The approach I took though, took a bit of a zigzag, all right? So I was training from home, I trained from home, from home for three years, I got a six pack at home with a set of dumbbells and a pull-up bar. I couldn't even do a pull-up, it took me nine to ten months to do one pull-up. And I'd lost 20 kilos in that time, or 15 kilos in that time, 20 kilos, I can't remember now. But ultimately, the decision was made. I needed to make a change, just like a smoker makes a decision not to smoke, okay? So what we see, what I see is all the time, is that people come into the gym or they try and start a weight loss program, and they never really decide. They kind of give it a go and oh, I'd give it three months. And that isn't deciding, okay? Given something three months to achieve a fitness goal you've been struggling with for long periods of time, isn't deciding to commit to make a change, right? So it could be you come into our gym and you've decided you come into our gym and our gym isn't for you and that is cool or my pr program isn't for you that's cool don't leave and give up leave and try something else try something different try something else that works because your goal is still your goal i hear so many goals about i do not want to have a heart attack like my mother i do not want to have a stroke like my granddad i want to be a um a role model to my children and but what, they, what people say and what they do doesn't kind of equate, okay? It's not congruent to what they say. I 100% believe that that is true. That is exactly what they want to achieve. But they never really decided on it. They never really made that decision to say, this is the line in the sand. I am going to do what I need to do. 
And when you, what I find is when you get to the over 40 mark, okay, you've got so many years of so many years of habits that you've built up over time that is very difficult to break, okay? And, and you may find um, like, so, like self-soothing in food and alcohol and, and lots of rest because you're tired. And I get all that thing. I do get it for sure, you know? Um, but it's easy to default to that because it's the easy way out. And it's, it's like, well, you know, that's it. It's easy, okay? So what I, what is, Tony Robbins is um, a, a very famous sort of, uh, I don't know, um, motivational person, life coach, if I suppose. And he says, if you want to take the island, you've got to burn the boats, right? If you want to take the island, you've got to burn the boats. That basically means that, that once you make that decision, burn the boats, there's no way to go back, all right? How do you do that in this society when there's lots of abundance everywhere? Well, you just make the decision. I am no longer going to settle for being overweight. I am no longer going to settle for being injured and making excuses. And once you tell yourself that, and you keep telling yourself that, and you immerse yourself in that, then you will be successful. There's a reason that there's an only a 5% success rate for a diet. There's a reason for it, because nobody really commits. No one really makes that decision, all right? So what I want you to do, I want you to make a decision. And either way, it doesn't matter what it is. If you decide that getting healthy for you is not a priority, then that is a decision you make, and that's cool. But if you don't want to make that decision, and most of you won't because it's like, what the hell were you even say that for? Then you must make a decision to be fit and healthy. When you do that, burn the boats. Get rid of the junk food. Get rid of the alcohol. Um, start moving every single day. Even if it's five minutes, start at five minutes, build up to six if you need to. Build up to seven, build up to eight. Progressive overload. A little bit more every single day over time, over time, over time. And then all of a sudden you get to the point where it becomes easier, right? So my story was 10 years later, now a quarter of my life, I have been fit and healthy. You would never know it. Um, I get up 4.30 in the morning, come to the gym. I find solutions. I'm always learning new things how to reduce calories, feel more full, um, you know, maximize my workouts, maximize my nutrition, all those things. I'm always working on that, okay? Um, and it's because of the decision I made 10 years ago never to be fat again. It's a big decision to make. And I'm never going to settle for being fat again. It would have to be something massively crazy in my life for me not to not to continue with training okay um and to be honest with you i've had eight knee operations I've, and the last one was pretty significant and i was in the gym sitting down on a chair doing weight training all right and i still eat consistently because when you're after an injury and, and you need to recover then you need to eat healthy to recover it makes sense doesn't it so this is my mindset monday seven minutes okay i don't want to go too long but you must make a decision people lack decision making skills and once you make that decision stick with it there is burn the boat there's no going back once you make that decision, you make that decision. I promise you, your life will change. Your life will change for the better. For me, as a result of me not wanting to be fat again, I've grown a business. Um, I've made some amazing friends and people, an amazing business partner. I have got more energy. I am more happier with myself. Um, my life has completely changed by making that one decision to be fat. And it's a bit serendipitous, okay? A little bit deep, I know. But ultimately, if you make that decision, what waits for you at the end is more than you could ever imagine, all right? Fitness um, and health and vitality is basically the key to a long, happy life. It really, really is, okay? Um, and I can honestly test them for that as well. So that's it for me. Hope you took something from it. If you do nothing else, just make a decision, one or the other, and just be happy with the decision you make. That's it for me, guys. If you do need help, though, um, leave me a message and we can help you. We can help you with accountability, with training, with motivation, whatever you need, we can help you with, okay? And um, we will do our best to do that. Have a really good day, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.